we think about uh, transformation, it's critical that it's balanced between both the uh, top line, uh, the growth side of the house, and the cost side of the house. Um, we've seen companies struggle, to be honest, if they focus disproportionately on margin expansion and performance. Um, and we've seen companies thrive and succeed if they have a very balanced approach across growing the top line and expanding their margins at the same time. And in fact, as you look at the firm's research, um, we've found that this is actually a pretty tough, tough trick to pull off. The winning formula is actually to expand your margins and grow. That's very easy to say, but as it turns out, it's a hard thing to do. Over the last decade, only 15% of uh, companies that we've evaluated have in fact managed to grow on a sustainable way and expand their margins at the same time. But those guys have of course been rewarded by the stock market for our performance. It's a straightforward recipe to deliver against that. Um, we take a very structured approach to how we help companies grow and take cost out at the same time. It's very important to incorporate uh, growth at the beginning of a transformation rather than an afterthought, uh, simply because the common mistake people make is they rebase the cost of an organization and they take that all to the bottom line. Uh, we've established that Frankly, resource allocation, allocation of OPEX and CAPEX to the winning BUs, the winning initiatives, the areas where there's real headroom uh, in the marketplace is actually one of the biggest single drivers of outperformance. Reducing all of your costs, taking them all to the bottom line and giving them back to the shareholders works very well in the short term, but in the medium to long term, it actually leaves you with your arms tied behind your back. The other big reason why addressing growth at the outset is critical is it is not an inspiring story for employees, uh, associates, to have the movie of this business be we're going to reduce the cost base for the next 12 to 24 months. Associate engagement is actually critical to drive growth in an organization and it's much more inspiring to have a reinvestment story than a bottom line story. By the way, sometimes both are required. Um, but uh, that's, that's the best way to do it. So as we think about embedding growth into a transformation, uh, one powerful approach might include starting with a very robust uh, independent diligence on the business, very much as an investor would if they're looking to acquire the asset. Um, what that really means is between six and 10 weeks of very hard work, looking at every available growth lever, both the predictable ones that people might obviously think of, how to improve my marketing performance, how to get better at pricing and revenue management, how to improve customer experience and so on and so forth, but also in the digital era, much less obvious ones. How do I disintermediate? How do I start new businesses, new digital businesses? How do I compete effectively with those that are attacking me? And how do I expand, frankly, into the things that my customers and consumers really want as opposed to what I currently deliver today? And so that powerful approach really takes a full potential view of the business uh, to really understand both from the near term kind of marketing and sales performance levers, but also the medium and longer term truly transformational ways to reimagine and restage the business as to what it actually could be in three to five years. Mm -hmm.